In this part, we're using power windows to draw around something in frame, change the color of it, and then track that grade onto it as it moves through the frame. The storyboard for this project put our young girl in a modern home playing with a model Aston Martin. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to get hold of the correct model before the shoot date. So uh, we ended up with a silver model and the final car is a shade of white. So that's obviously going to be something we need to adjust here. To get around this, I drew a power window and then tracked that power window onto that model of the car as the girl moved it through frame. I've got it set up just here. So what I'm gonna do is remove this power window so that we can see how we go about that. You've gotta do this bit with the mouse. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to move this around, get in a little bit closer, and I'm just gonna do a very quick job of tracking the shape of the Aston Martin just there. This is super rough, but you can go back in and finesse it. So there we go. And then all I've got to do is go over to my tracker window, pull the tracker up. It's set to window already, so I just sit track forwards and it will do its thing. And you can see that pretty much, if I zoom back out of that, it has stuck to it like glue. That is one of the great things about uh, DaVinci Resolve. I was sitting there with the client. Uh, they mentioned this and I said, don't worry, we can fix that when we come to do the correction. And they said, oh, are you sure it's going to look okay? So. I just fired up the tracker, put the window around, hit track, and it made me look like a miracle worker in front of the client because they were just blown away that it could be done that quickly and easily. It's not always a good thing to let them know that kind of thing, but uh, it did show us in a good light. So I've got that tracked on, and all I would have to do then is go in and finesse some things. You can see on here, like, there are a couple of areas that uh, aren't quite right, so I'd go in and I would move those points around and get it perfectly aligned to the shape of the car. But essentially, once that's on and it's tracked and you'd probably want to add in a little bit of like softening. So you'd soften the in point and the out on that. So it's not a hard cut off around the edge. Make sure it doesn't go onto her fingers. But for all intents and purposes, that is glued to the side of the car. We can change the color and it fits seamlessly into the final sequence when you watch everything moving from this model car to the actual Aston Martin on the airfield. And just taking that on and off so you can see the difference. And we've got that silver car, we go to the white and zoom out and see how that sits. Yeah, so it's something that you can do quite easily and resolve. The tracking is that good now that uh, I don't even think about whether I should spend the time to do something like that. It is literally a one minute job to get it tracked on. You might spend longer finessing it, but it is super fast, especially when you've got the control surface as well. You just fire at the window, click on the tracker, and boom, it's done. So I'm just gonna re-enable the more honed version of that. It's a very simple shot. And there we cut from that one into the shot of the car on the track, and it's seamless. In the next part, we're looking at the built-in effects and resolve, specifically the lighting effects.